Good morning. I'm Jess Backus. Thanks for joining us for another Nine Online devotional. Today, we're going to continue walking through the Ten Commandments. And the commandment that we're going to cover is thou shalt not murder. Now, most of you just took a big sigh of relief and are thinking, well, this is going to be over pretty quickly, right? Because most of us have never contemplated murdering anyone. I never had um, until now I found myself as a mother of seven and there are days. But truly, this commandment has so much more to it than simply the act of murder. The Old Testament is filled with law that has to do with our external behavior. But as we see in the book of 1 Samuel, Samuel points out to David's father that man looks on the outside appearance, but God looks on the heart. Unfortunately, the Jewish people throughout the Old Testament missed this. And so they focused in on their outside behavior, on the way that they walked and worked and dressed and talked and the way that they looked especially. And so Jesus shows up in the New Testament and he begins to say things like, if you hate someone, you're guilty of murder. There's this term that has been around, but recently has really become very popular, and that is living mindfully. And I'd like to propose to you that actually Jesus, 2,000 years ago, was the first one who was a big vocal proponent of living mindfully. See, we often get caught in the same trap that they did in the Old Testament, and that is Yes, once we're saved, we want to become more like Jesus. And we tend to measure our sanctification based on our outside appearance, the things we say, the things we do, our disciplines, or maybe the things we don't do and don't say or don't watch or don't listen to. But I want to tell you that Jesus was saying to us that we need to live mindfully in our sanctification, that we need to focus in on not simply doing all of the right things into becoming more like him, but instead examining our motives for saying the right things, our, um, what drove us to, um, act that way. Are we just trying to look good? Are we truly desiring a heart like Christ? I had somebody recently talk to me about their personal disciplines in their journey of being a disciple of Jesus. And one of the things that they shared with me was that they regularly, or they try to actually daily, take time in the evening, 10, 15 minutes, and really think back through the day. And this is what they said. You know, I don't so much focus on what I said or what I did unless there was something glaring that I really need to confess to Christ. Instead, I take time and I think through why I acted that way. Why did I help that person? Why did I say that? Why did I spend my time that way? And I really am trying to work through making sure that my sanctification has way more to do with my motivation than simply my actions. And so as we look at thou shalt not murder, my question to you is, do you have anger in your heart towards somebody? Is there that person at work that just grates on your nerves? Maybe there's somebody in your family who just naturally their personality is at odds with yours. Is this something that you need to take some time, go to Christ and work out your motivation, your thought process, your heart attitude towards that person. Guys, it's so easy to say, oh, thou shalt not murder and walk on by. Maybe it's time for all of us to take a little extra time examining the relationships in our life and making sure that as Jesus advocated, we live mindfully. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you have a great day.